Hello and welcome back to Mary Gear Solid. I'm gonna kill a couple kids. <laughs> yes. Oh, that feels so good. All right. Well, we're proceeding through these mostly empty hallways back towards the uh, the second lobby. We have to go through one more lobby here before we can finally get back to that metal floored room where we needed our socks for. Uh, but thankfully, there's nobody here, so we can just run our way through. There's gonna be a camera in the next room or the room after, and that's pretty much our our. Uh, our only obstacle here. Uh, there's that camera. There's that one obstacle that I may actually get seen by and be very embarrassed. I hope not. Uh oh, I ran into the wrong room. That'll teach me. No problem. We didn't get seen. I don't have to be embarrassed after all. All right, come on. This is just, it's so long. Could we have cut this out though? Like I get it, I do. I get that you're trying to make it kind of like the older games and in that way it's mocking and funny, but God damn if it's not annoying right now. Now we have to use our box and get back through this. Caught you. No, you didn't, you didn't catch anybody. Uh, socks back on. We are going to need those momentarily. Uh, or actually, we're going to need our deer mask first, I guess. All right, camera moved. Let's go. Oh. Nothing at all. It was absolutely nothing. Don't worry about me. I'll have to equip my socks. <laughs> It was just your imagination. Now I'll sneak up on you with my socks! Ha-ha! Yes, all of you will die. The most painful death imaginable. Candy cane to the throat. That's exactly what Otacon told me not to do. Okay, socks! Uh, I believe it's the very next room, or it's the one directly after where we can finally make progress. It feels like no progress is being made at the moment, although there is progress technically being made. Yeah, it's not the next room, it's the room after. God, uh, fuck you, you're an asshole. I forgot that he turns around there because it's been so long since I've been to this goddamn room. I'm angry. All right, anger's over, let's go. We don't have time for anger. Yes, yes, turn around, very good. Off I go. I'm wearing socks, so I don't have to worry about this metal. What I do have to worry about, though, is this kid. Ha! <laughs> um, that's what I meant to equip. It was nothing. It was nothing. <laughs> oh come on! I thought I equipped the deer mask. I thought I equipped the deer mask. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, I hate, I just hate, I hate, I have so much hate in my heart for, for children, for all of the children of the world. Okay. No, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Okay, I'm out of here. All right. We made it, finally. Now, we can sock it up. We're going to sock up. Uh, okay. Okay. So we have to get in there, I guess? No, we don't. But I'm gonna kill this kid, because why not? There, you deserve it. And there's a box for us! Snake, you found the Polar Gun. The Polar Gun is an experimental weapon developed by the US government. It was originally intended for use by the Polar Berets, a top secret special ops group that carried out missions in the Antarctic. It fires a small syringe filled with a powerful polarizing serum that gives its target incredible polar bear powers. Now that's what I'm talking about. The initial test showed remarkable results. In fact, the US government was so pleased with its findings that it deployed the polar gun for use in its ill-fated Operation Intrude N90. Operation Intrude N90? Never heard of it. Of course you haven't. Operation Intrude N90 was the government's first attempt to infiltrate Santa's workshop in the North Pole. They were after his naughty and nice list, as it contained invaluable information about everyone in the world. 
and information that could help profile suspected terrorists. The Polar Berets were to parachute onto the North Pole and immediately inject themselves with the Polar Gun in order to survive out in the harsh climate. There was just one problem. What was that? It was winter. Well, of course it was winter. When else would they be able to find Santa Claus? Snake, do you have any idea what polar bears do during the winter? They hibernate, don't they? Exactly. Each and every one of the polar berets followed their orders and injected themselves with the serum. Within seconds, each and every one of them fell into a deep sleep. The mission was a resounding failure. So what you're saying is that I could use this polarizing serum as a tranquilizer? Yeah. Aim the polar gun by holding down the control button. When you let go of control, you'll fire a syringe in the direction you're facing. The polar gun can only be used six times, but you can reload it by touching floating ammo boxes. Just don't ask me where those ammo boxes suddenly came from, or how they're floating. There's probably a great deal of science behind it. I'm guessing something to do with nanomachines. Yeah, that sounds about right. So it does. All right, well, my ammo's full at the moment. Uh, I could fire this weapon, but I don't really see a reason to just yet. Not if I don't have to. I want to save that ammo. All right. Well, there's a camera up ahead, so we're going to be careful and sneak underneath of it. Very good. All right. See, things are, things are simple right now. There's no reason to complicate things. Yes. Die. All of you. Die. Uh, okay, there's some more boxes, so there's just gonna, if there's gonna be boxes in every room, then I will absolutely, uh, okay, what is this kid doing? I'll absolutely begin to use it. Okay. That's right, I knocked. What are you gonna do about it? Ha-ha! That seems to be the best way to get through these rooms, is to knock. Oh boy, that's metal. Speaking of knocking, <laughs> okay, let's try, try again. All right, kid. Yes, that was me knocking. I'm just gonna let you go this time. This time we will equip socks. Uh, oh, I had to get around the side here. Oh, either side though. So I can I can actually just use my candy cane. Get over here! Oh, he saw me. Okay, well that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to knock and, and pull them out of, of their cover and then sneak past. That's the only way to do that. Okay, well I should have done that in the first place. And for some reason I did not do that in the first place or the second place. Let's put our socks on. Uh, okay, now comes the interesting part. I'm gonna equip my deer mask. I'm gonna need it. What was that? It was absolutely nothing. Yes. Look, look all you please, but you will find nothing. What was that? Aha! Okay! The gun came in handy. Uh, I used most of my ammunition, but that's okay. It was for a good cause, and I'm sure we'll find more floating ammunition, like, right here. Good. All right, so pretty much it's going to be on, like, every every floor from here on out? He saw me, but that's okay. Uh-oh. He saw me, too. That's not okay. Fear mask! We are nothing. We blend right into the wall. You'll never find us. You'll never see us. We are invisible. Okay. It was just your imagination, absolutely. See you later! I don't need to use my weapon, but I can just sneak straight through! Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave these socks on. He's over here! You fuckface! I couldn't see you! If I looked at my radar, I would have seen you, but who would do that? Wow. Why would I use something given to me by the game to aid me? That is just silly! Okay, I made it through just in time. Don't turn around. Okay, turn around now. Turn around now, though, and I'll, I'll sneak over there and I'll hit you. Dude, turn around. Mm, okay, there he goes. Don't you even think about it, you ass. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to use the box here, maybe? Uh, unless I can walk directly with these? Okay, 
That was kind of scary. But we did it. Uh, what are we going to do with this guy? We are going to knock is what we're going to do. Let's get our deer mask prepared. What was that? It was nothing at all. I'll quit my deer mask just in case. See you later. Through the door we go. No ammunition needed. Oh, and finally, I think we found the elevator. Ugh, this elevator's busted too. Oh, I'm all out of ideas, Snake. Okay. Uh, well, there's a gift down there. Let's go see that before the end of the episode. After all, there's only one kid between us and the gift. What was that? Nothing at all. See you later. Snake, looks like you found the Nikita missile launcher. The Nikita fires a missile that can be controlled via remote control. Don't you find it a bit weird that there would be a missile launcher just lying around in the middle of a shopping mall the night before Christmas? Hmm, yeah. You've got a point. Tell you what. Let's call it a... a mistletoe launcher. Mistletoe launcher? Yeah, it's just like the Nikita, but it fires... Hmm, let's see. Let's say it fires a missile with a pair of lips on it. A Kissel! Otacon, you can't just... That's right! And smooching a kid with the Kissel will overwhelm them. With love! Aim the mistletoe launcher by holding down the control button. When you let go of control, you'll fire a Kissel, which you can then control with your arrow keys. Kissels? Mistletoe launcher? This is ridiculous. Why should I believe a single thing you've said? Well, because if you don't, you'll end up blowing up a lot of- Alright, alright, I believe you. One last thing. The mistletoe launcher can only hold one Kissel at a time. So once you've fired it, you'll have to find more Kissels around the mall. With that mistletoe launcher, you should be able to destroy the electrical switchboard. It's in that room filled with gas. By destroying an electrical switchboard, you deactivate all the electrical floors in that area. You should head back up to the 20th floor. From there, you can access an elevator that'll take you down to the 10th floor. What's on the 10th floor? An elevator you can take all the way down to the 1st floor. Oh. <laughs> How does he already know that I have a mistletoe launcher? Like... Otacon just invented that, just now, and he just invented Kissels, but he already knew. Oh. All right, well, thank you for joining me for this episode, and join me again for our next episode where we are endlessly chasing down elevators in pursuit of the first floor. I'm going to fire one of these missiles just to see what happens before the episode. Okay, that's what happens. Let me get another one here. I want to hit a kid with this. Ah, ha, ha, ha. you have been kissled. Oh, oh, he's overwhelmed with love. Look at him roll around. Oh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Please join me next time. You guys have a good one.